different muscles that are aching right now. A few K left until I'm there. <laughs> Guys, we've made it. We've just arrived at Socotra Island and in a couple of days, we're gonna be attempting something that's never been done before. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I spent three months on this island as the pandemic shut down the world in early 2020. Well, this vlog is a kind of a prequel. It tells the story of why I came here in the first place. I'm also going to be making a huge announcement, so make sure you stick around until the end. All these people around me, everybody here has come for the very first marathon to ever be held in Socotra Island. Yeah, man. Socotra Island is ultra remote and really difficult to reach. Definitely not your typical running destination. The truth is, I hadn't been doing much training since my last marathon in Iraqi Kurdistan, but I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to complete a marathon here in Yemen. Little did I know that this trip would change my life forever. <sighs> T-minus two hours. It's pretty quiet out here. Just two hours before the race, I'm having some chai. The camp is looking amazing. Well, let's take a look at what these guys are up to. What are you guys up to? Well, I'm blowing up my tires before the marathon. Ready? We'll try and pump that to oh. <laughs> That's it. Good. All right, Abdullah was helping me today. <laughs> it's nice to have him help. <laughs> Are you looking so, forward to it? Yeah, I am. I, I can't wait. This will be a fun, fun time to, with everybody. Yeah. But at night, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. It's a part of the race. A big part of the race is at night. So it's going to be dark. <laughs> good, good. good. Uh, with uh, running a marathon on an island like this is that there's a lot of sand everywhere. <laughs> in your shoes, in your socks, in your clothes, everywhere. And trust me, you don't want sand rubbing against your feet or other parts of your body if you have to run 42 kilometers. Mm -mm. That's right, Abdullah, huh? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Ava, welcome my island. Yay! Welcome to Sugatra. Okay, it's time to go. Gonna get in the cars and we're gonna drive up to the starting point <laughs> of a marathon I signed up for three days ago and have no training for. This should be fun. That's the starting point over there. This is getting more and more real, guys. Now this is not a big marathon by any means, it's, it's not huge, so the means that we have here are relatively modest, but we're making it work and this is looking pretty good. We've got soft drinks here, we've got dates and fruits as snacks, we've got a paved road, we're going to be running that way. So I'm really excited, but first I think I need to do a couple of runner things. 73, that's the number of my bib, that is my runner number, which I now have to attach to my t-shirt. Okay, the number's on. So I've come here a little bit before everybody else to give myself ample time to uh, prepare my muscles for, <laughs> for a marathon. <laughs> It's our first time running a marathon in Yemen. All right, you guys ready? How many marathons have you run? Uh, 105. This is his 106th marathon, <laughs> ladies and gents. 28 marathons, yeah, right? 
So guys, this is the Socotra Challenge 2020, the first marathon ever in Socotra, and possibly the first marathon in Yemen. Oh. Anyway, ready? Yeah. Yalla! Yalla! Yeah. 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 Thank you, you're gonna do it too. Back. Oh. Right. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, Are you ready? Right. Six of the that long ones, one of the short ones, and we're done. So basically we cannot run a full 42k just one way here on this island so what we're going to be doing is making a lap. There's kind of six and a half laps that we're going to be making along this road. <laughs> None of us has any idea what's going on but we're here to make it happen. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? Good, good. Just, just, just want to start. <laughs> <laughs> we better do some running now. <laughs> This race is that there are some people here who are running to get a good time. There are some people here who are trying to run a marathon in every country in the world. And there are people here who are just doing it for fun. And it's just a no pressure, kind of friends get together, community style marathon. belongs to Yemen. Yemen that's going through a really difficult crisis right now but that doesn't mean that the country is not beautiful and that its people aren't kind. Hey team! <laughs> 7k! <laughs> In fact, it's completely pitch black already. Just a little bit of a whitish, grayish haze up on the sky. So I've got myself a head torch. All right, the rest of the race is a night race. So the restaurant is open for you 24 hours. <laughs> Don't worry, you go to your bar door and then when you're done, it's, it's still open. <laughs> Thirteen and a half kilometers, still alive, just about. <laughs> this is the part of the race when things get tough. The part between 20k and 30k. Kind of just past the halfway point where your legs really start to feel like they hurt and that's where your mind starts to tell you this is too much. This is definitely the hardest part of the race. But once you're past 30, the adrenaline begins to kick in again and you know that the finish line is not that far so a few k left until I'm there Whoops. 
I'm so busy talking to the camera that I literally fell off the road. Ah, it's a lot of different muscles that are aching right now. Feels like I need to stop. You know, my body's just telling me to stop. I hope I can make it. meters left until the finish line I see it right there it's so close this has been really difficult physically and mentally but this place is so beautiful and the people here have been so welcoming just amazing I'm so happy I got to do this <laughs> don't want to fart the finish line almost there Oh my god. Yes, I did finish the marathon, but no, I have no videos, no clips, no footage of me finishing the marathon. Zero. In fact, all I have is this really bad, really dark photo of me with the medal. Honestly, when I realized that I don't have any clips of me finishing the marathon, of actually crossing the finish line, I got really upset with myself. I mean, come on, I'm a professional travel vlogger. How can I not have a video of the most important moment of the marathon? And then I cooled down and I thought about it some more and I realized that finishing a marathon is not actually the most important thing about running a marathon. The most important thing about running a marathon is running the marathon. It's the process of running. It's the pain, the struggle, the journey, the resilience, the perseverance of it all. 42 kilometers is a long distance. Speaking of resilience and perseverance, if you've been around here on this channel for a little while, then you'll probably know what happened next after that fateful marathon in March 2020. I ended up spending another three months on Socorro Island as the world went into pandemic lockdown and then eventually made my way back home on a cargo ship amidst a global pandemic. But let's not dwell too much on the past. There's one more really important piece of news that I want to share with you right now and it's all about travel in 2021 and my biggest project I think ever to date. It all goes back to this funny idea that I have about life. Basically, I believe that if once in a while you decide to face your fears, leave your comfort zone behind. That is a sure way to grow and expand your horizons and open yourself up to new possibilities and realize that you're capable of so much more than you thought you were. So my plans for 2021 are very much related to all those ideas. In 2021, I have decided that I am going to run an ultra marathon. Right now, you're probably wondering what on earth is an ultra marathon? Well, an ultra marathon is anything, any race that is longer than a marathon, i.e. longer than 42 kilometers. Ultra marathons can be anywhere between usually 50 kilometers and I believe 3000 is the longest one on earth, but I will not be running that one. <laughs> not yet. The marathon that I would like to run in 2021 will be around 200 or 250 kilometers and spread over a period of five to seven days. That basically means that at some point in 2021, I will spend a week running a marathon a day. I can't disclose the location just yet because I myself am not sure of it because of the COVID travel restrictions, but I have a very, very important question for you. Would you like me to share snippets of my journey, of my training towards an ultramarathon here on YouTube? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. And yes, I'm absolutely terrified of running an ultramarathon. I mean, I don't feel ready at all and I feel like I will never be ready. But you know what? I know that it's possible. 
people have done it before me and people will do it after me. And if I train hard enough and if I prepare myself hard enough, I know that I will be able to do it. And you know what else? The world belongs to the brave. If you never try, you'll never know what you're capable of. <sighs> well, that was a lot of talking. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next vlog. Mwah!